podcast and YouTube blog covering the German startup scene with news, interviews, and live events. Hello and welcome everybody. This is Joe from Celebrator, your startup podcast and YouTube blog from Germany. I'm here at day number two at Lended and I do have another guest here with me. Hey, welcome. Thanks for having me here, John. Um, your name is? Saravana Sivasankar. <laughs> Saravana is pretty, is pretty fine for me. Um, and you are with the company called Marlow. Yes. Yes. And I found it totally fascinating what you guys are actually doing. Can you explain it a little bit to our audience? Sure. So uh, Marlow is a global B2B financing marketplace for the ocean freight industry, uh, which is a $100 billion a year freight industry. Uh, we provide short-term loans to shipping companies against freight contracts. And I talked to some of the people on your booth down there, and basically, from what I understand, you have to like pre-finance not the goods inside the ship, but the freight itself, meaning the salary of the crew, meaning the the, the it's not called gasoline, it's called bunkering. What, what the ships are running on, or the fees you have in the harbors, uh, the guides you need there, and stuff like that. Is it true? Yes. Uh, so to put it in layman terms, uh, we provide financing to small shipping companies so that they can use that funds to execute contracts that they have. So if, for example, you take a small shipping company, uh, say based in Singapore, and they have a contract with Glencore, uh, they would have to spend some working capital upfront in order to execute that contract. So we provide these uh, loans, which are usually between hundred to three hundred thousand uh, dollars, for a period between thirty to one twenty days. We have a very fast application process where uh, we're able to use AI to evaluate the risk of a voyage and the borrower, and uh, quickly disperse the funds. Uh huh. And I learned um, small in shipping terms is something completely different. You had their picture of like a small ship, and it had like seven, eight football fields in size, that's small? Well, uh, don't get influenced by the images, but we're, shipping small is relative, you're right. Uh, but we are indeed working with SMEs within the shipping uh, industry. Mm -hmm. So while these ships can range from uh, sizes from uh, you know, 28,000 tons to 100,000 tons, but essentially we're still working with companies uh, which are looking for capital to scale. And that's our target audience. So within this big industry, it's more the smaller and medium players who are looking at that. And basically what I understand is basically when the ship is leaving, for example, Shanghai, they apply for a loan and we basically uh, finance the journey to, let's say, Amsterdam Harbor. And then after they given, uh, after they, how is it probably called, handed off all the goods? Yes. 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 And um, they'll pay you back. Yes, something along those lines. Uh, so the, the freight contracts are a little bit different from your conventional contracts. So at the surface level, they look very similar to, say, contract financing, uh, where you have an advance rate and say if you're giving a $100,000 loan, at a 50% advance rate, that means that the contract is worth $200,000. But if you look closer, uh, freight contracts are actually a subset of trade finance. So uh, that makes it very advantageous for creditors, for example. So if uh, one of our borrowers is not getting paid as per his contract, he can hold ransom the goods that he's carrying, which is much more valuable and uh, you know, advantageous and uh, offers interesting opportunities for creditors. Mm -hmm. I see. So basically, you, you finance someone who has a claim on other people for the shipping costs and basically they have the ransom, the goods already on the ship. So, I mean, sounds very advantageous to me, right? Yes, I think, uh, you know, the, the main uh, challenges that the online lending industry faces today is uh, it's just uh, handling loss rates. Uh, so the gross yields tend, always tend to be very attractive, but ultimately, if you look at the data, uh, the net returns are not that impressive. Uh, and uh, when it comes to the freight industry, we have some unique challenges. We're dealing with global companies, so we work across different jurisdictions. And uh, maritime law has uh, some unique characteristics compared to just plain English law. N not only that, I would assume like a cyclone or a hurricane or something like this 
it's like a global event and it will more or less impact shipping routes that are touched by it and stuff like that? That's actually a very good point. So uh, there are various different risk factors when you're looking at freight finance. And uh, one of the questions we get asked all the time is, why aren't high street banks doing this? The answer to that is, is, is just that. Uh, banks are not equipped to monitor the kind of risk variables involved in freight financing. So, M Meaning instead of like um, you're watching the revenue, you have to watch for pirate activities, for weather. Um, port congestions. Uh, you know, oh, strikes uh, at port. Traffic jams are also a thing in shipping. Ex exactly. Uh, sudden fuel price increases. All of these affect uh, you know, whether a, a contract ends up being very profitable or hugely loss making. So fortunately for us at Marlowe, we use an AI driven risk assessment system, which means that we're able to keep track of all these variables. And what our lenders on our platform see is a consolidated risk rating for every loan application that comes through. And it doesn't stop there. Uh, and this is a feature that we're very proud of at Marlowe. We actually allow lenders to track the loan through the cycle of the loan. So if you went to a lot of the online lending websites today, it's usually all the fuss happens before you make the credit decision. Once you make the investment, you're basically waiting there to see if the money has been received or if it's gone to bad collections agencies. Uh, in our example, however, yep. we actually track the loan, as in you see where the ship is at any point of time. Yeah, that, that's what I had in mind, But because basically the ships are so big, they have GPS, you, you can track them in real time almost, right? Yes, so it's called AIS tracking. Uh, I Learn can actually, something new. <laughs> uh, you can actually get a very accurate uh, uh, sense of where your ship is, how long it's going to take for it to complete loading, uh, and uh, subsequently when you will receive the payment. That is a huge, uh, you know, new level of transparency that we haven't seen in online lending today. How are your default rates, your return rates so far? So we are a startup company, we've just started. Uh, so we're doing about a million dollars of loans every month. Uh, we're looking to ramp up. Uh, we expect the loss rates to be under two to three percent. Uh, you would have to ask me in a few years time after we've built the more sizable. We'll be back portfolio. here, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, and for everybody who wants to learn more, go down here in the show notes because there'll be your LinkedIn profile as yes. well as the company website. www.marlo.online. They can ask any questions and... Um, Happy to answer. We are a London-based uh, fintech startup company, very close to Victoria Station. Everything right. said and done. Okay. Thank you thank very you, much. John, thank you for having me. My pleasure. Thank you. That's all, folks. Find more news, streams, events, and interviews at www.startuprad.io. Remember, sharing is caring.